It is the 5th of the 10th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Now, I know I've been gone a little while, uh, needed a break, and just when I feel like it, I just kind of take them, so uh, bear with me. I'll be remixing and doing these videos as often as I see fit, so let's begin. Uh, Earth Changes, SOT.net. This one's out of Austria. Hundreds of starlings died when a flock rammed into a terrified motorist car head-on as he sped down a motorway in, a, in Austria. The bizarre attack came as the huge swarm of birds were flying quickly, changing formation above the highway. Quote, my girlfriend said she saw the birds flying very low towards us. Suddenly they just flew straight into our car. That's an insane story coming out of Austria. Uh, definitely an interesting read. Britain on high alert after a uh, voracious predator from Eastern Europe spotted in UK waters. Uh, this is about a dangerous shrimp that could decimate British waterways has been found in the United Kingdom. The killer cru crustacean branded a uh, voracious predator by the Environment Agency has been found in the Wolchester Birmingham Canal following previous sightings in the River Stur Severn. Uh, it arrived from the UK from Eastern Europe and feeds on fish. Um, Sparking fears that could dramatically change the UK's delicate marine ecosystem. And that's just what we need, more strains on the food. Minnesota and North Dakota see snowfall records and power outages in October. Now this isn't completely unheard of uh, here in the upper Midwest, uh, but it's definitely an early season for winter for us, even here. An early season snow event produced significant snow amounts in the northeast North Dakota and northwest Minnesota for early October. Uh, the heaviest snow fell in uh, Rasu County where around a foot of heavy wet snow have been reported as of 3 p.m. Thursday, October 4th. This heavy wet snow also produced numerous power outages across the area. And of course that's not uncommon. Mysterious tremors raise questions. Uh, this is out of Louisiana. Nobody quite knows what caused the ground in some parts of uh, La Forge and uh, Terrebonne parishes to shake, but certainly has people talking. A little before 2 p.m. Wednesday, reports began flooding in as officials uh, into the officials of tremors accompanied by a loud noise. The Lafayette uh, Parish Sheriff's Office and the Office of Emergency Preparedness received reports, but nobody has been able to narrow down a cause. Hmm. Fire and high winds wreak havoc across Tasmania. Uh, storm force winds are damaging properties and fanning fires across Tasmania. Gusts up to 100 kilometers an hour brought down power lines, sparking several fires. This is some severe weathering uh, going on way down under. Uh, they got a story how GMOs unleashed a pesticide gusher. Uh, basically, these uh, plants with uh, pesticides already in them produce a very toxic runoff for the rest of us. And that's about it I want to cover on there tonight. We've got some pretty crazy stories about fox and bear attacks. Over to the extinction protocol. 3.2 magnitude earthquake rattles Katla volcano in Iceland once again. An earthquake of magnitude 3.2 hit Katla volcano which lies underneath uh, a big snow glacier in South Iceland just before 9.30 this morning. Uh, according, according to the seismologists at the Icelandic Office of Meteorology, the earthquake hit at the depth of 100 meters. Several smaller quakes occurred shortly before the larger one, but no earthquakes have been recorded since. Uh, so they're saying it might just be a little pressure relief, uh, but there is a big magna pool underneath that, and Katla is very overdue. Here's a story that caught my eye, makes me go, hmm... NASA radar to study volcanoes in Alaska and Japan. A NASA aircraft carrying a unique 3D aerial radar development by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has left California for a 10-day campaign, campaign to study active volcanoes in Alaska and Japan. And basically they go into this modified plane. Um, they're studying <coughs> the geological changes. And they're going to fly up one end down to uh, Japan uh, taking shots of all the volcanoes from California all the way up into Japan and back along the northern Pacific Plate. And they're going to fly back and measure the other side kind of thing. Um, but uh, they're definitely doing a lot of seismic activity going on on this upper plate. And uh, they're looking hard into the volcanoes right now. Mm. 
67 explosive eruptions reported at Japan's, um, I'm not going to uh, slur this name, but they've got a volcano in the southern Japan. It's kind of like an island kind of thing, uh, its own island, a uh, population of about 50 people. And uh, this is one of the most active volcanoes, but it's very, very, very active right now. And if the economy wasn't bad, $1 billion project underway to drill into the Earth's mantle just so they can take some samples. Billion dollars. And that's about all I want to cover on there tonight. Over to the RSOE quick uh, landslide reports coming out of Warsaw, Poland. Uh, Etna Volcano in Italy is showing activity again. Uh, snowstorm in North Dakota, of course. Power outages in the multi-states in Brazil. Landslide in Alaska and a uh, big snowstorm in uh, Manitoba, Canada, along with all the other uh, volcanic activity going on right now. Over to the nuclear stuff, let's just hit E&E &E news real quick. Let me get back to the headlines. Uh, government choreographed event on Fukushima health effects. That's not a big surprise to everybody who's being paying attention. Fukushima newspaper editor, quote, we don't report on health risks, risks from radiation. <laughs> People might worry. Radiation and health specialists. Children with over 11 becquerels of kilograms of cesium start to see health, start to see heart problems, a study says. We have not yet begun to see the health problems from this Fukushima incident. Now, 28 bubbling sites associated with giant sinkhole in Louisiana Air releases at three locations outside being tested, and they have photos on that. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, we have a YouTuber, uh, Idaho, Idaho Picker, who put out an outstanding video. Now, I'm trying to get permission to remix that. I don't like to, I do not um, screen copy and post videos that way due to copyright issues. Um, if you are willing to share that information with everybody else, please uh, allow me to remix that. I will attach a link, a uh, very interesting 30-minute video on what's going on down in Louisiana. New images of falling st uh, fallen steel beam atop fuel assemblies in unit number three pool. Handles covered in debris, barely visible in photos of that. Of course, we know unit number three is a complete mess. That's the one that blew up and made the little mushroom-like uh, cloud. And uh, it just keeps going on and on and on. Hold on a second, I'm going to let the cat out. Hold on, yeah. Don't go on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Princess Beckins. Local news reports of mysterious loud earthquakes flooding in Louisiana towns. Of course, the sinkhole comes to mind. Dozens of miles away, so rare there are no seismic... Uh, monitors in the area. Newspaper, giant deposits of BP oil on or beneath Gulf floor. Devastating fallout of spill continues. It's an ecological calamity, and I've been going on about that for years. Nuclear engineer, Fukushima plant, quote, is a waste generation facility with no off switch. That is an understatement. A uh, nuclear engineer, quote, this is the worst possible scenario. I think the melted fuel has already eaten through the concrete at Fukushima power plants. And uh, we all know this from several reports down back that three major nuclear reactors, uh, each one individually was over 12 times the size of the Chernobyl reactor, uh, with MOX plutonium fuel have melted through containment and into the environment underneath and is seeping into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this is something humanity must deal with for the next few million years, to say the least. Boat seen outside boundary of giant sinkhole, and they've got a video of that, and I watched it. It's one of these air marsh boats. Um, and again, uh, Idaho covers it in his video. Um, these things need about this much water to perform. And I've actually been in one that's gone over sand dunes and stuff, so definitely a boat. A picture of a boat taking pictures of uh, the sinkhole area. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that that particular area has fallen through yet or not. 
Coast Guard, four-mile stretch of oil has appeared near BP's Monsanto well in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they just declared it capped. They didn't really prove it to anyone. And uh, slicks have been reported on and off since the BP oil disaster. And uh, Rad Chick's radio show, she actually uh, brought up a theory of due to the BP oil and all that pressure that was released on the bottom of the New Madrid fault line and its direct connection to the salt domes in Louisiana. Uh, I, of course, will provide a link to that show as well. It's a pretty interesting uh, listen to. Thank you, Christine. You do some wonderful work. Victims of suspected radiological spraying in St. Louis suffer thyroid and other cancers. Helicopters cover children in powder. Quote, oh my God, if they did that, there's no telling what else they're hiding. Unquote. And this is due to the, the radiological testing the government did on poor uh, urban neighborhoods in uh, St. Louis back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Pressure from the cavern below giant sinkhole near 1,000 PSI trying to extract hydrocarbon material from well. That pressure just keeps on building and building, so that's 100 pounds more than last time. I work boilers in the Navy, uh, 1,200 PSI high pressure boilers. I really do understand what 1,000 PSI really means. Uh, some serious business going on in Louisiana. We definitely need to pay attention. Uh, oil reported at BP's Monsanto Well and Golf could be coming from fissures or crack in the seafloor. NOAA covering up, question mark. Well, that's nothing new. Government held secret meetings about human health impacts from Fukushima crisis. Of course they did. Uh, we might get um, censored reports from that in a hundred years or so. Who knows? Cesium levels spike in Fukushima primates. Radioactivity much higher than in 2012 than in June 2011. Well, of course, we've got three major reactors that have breached containment and are now in the environment. Of course, that radiation is just going to ever increase in that area uh, for a very, very, very long time. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I highly recommend you follow e, &E News. Uh, they're definitely on the ball, along with several other websites, of course. Um, it's good to be back. I'll be making videos more often, I'm sure. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.